Hello friends, hope you're all fine and doing very well. So today we are actually going to generate new page articles. That means that once a user click on like first post or second post, then it will generate a dynamic article on the fly. It will give us a completely new page and show one single post at a time. So we are going to do this. But for now, first of all, let's make some different changes to our previous code. So as you can see, this is our index page. But when I write here like where id is equal to zero, that is not in the database. So if I save the file and uh, refresh the browser, you can see error in your SQL syntax. So maybe it's wrong way to define this. So we are just going to cut it out from here and paste it here. If I refresh, now you can see uh, there is a blank page. So we actually want that if there is no article available, then it should display some message here. So how we can do this? It's very simple. So let's create a logic here that if, uh, sorry, we have to write PHP starting and opening here so if uh, and i need that if empty there is a function empty that actually a function that will used uh, for many things for strings or for arrays so here we are using the article array so we are checking that if the article is empty like if the article is empty then in that case we want a paragraph that there is no article for now so whatever you want to say here and the next thing is again php and else block if this returns false that means the article sorry not article articles that the articles is having values or having articles in it if articles variable having articles in it then in that case we are going to run the else block and we are going to end our if statement here by writing php and and if like this so make sure once you open your else block or if block outside ul then you have to end your if block outside of ul element so it is something maybe tricky part so from here if i refresh now you can see there is no article for now. Now if I just remove this value where id is equal to zero or this query and if I run the browser in the browser you can see all the posts are here. So whenever our articles variable is returning zero value or there is no article in the articles variable then it will return us nothing but a message that is this message now the next thing is we want that once a user click on the title of the article php have to generate another page of single article where that post will be generated on the fly so how we can do this first of all we are going to make a new file known as article dot php and hit enter now copy all the code from here and paste it here like this we are going to change some of the things the so first thing we are going to change is here we just need article and we don't need all uh, the results to fetch so we are going to use so 
it will just give us only one row for now we are going to write where id is equal to one now one more thing is that we just need the article and that is here that is only one row so that's why we don't need any for each loop here and one more thing is we actually not need this if statement to be run like this because there is no articles array here we are actually getting the value in the article in one row so for that if there is no article so if article equal equal equals to null so uh, when this mysql fetch asset function run it will give us null value if it is false if the string is empty then it will give us return us null value that is that means that it is false so if the article giving us null that means if this is true then we want to show that no article found like this and in the else block we need article here like so and uh, i hope this is fine for now and if i refresh now you can see nothing is changed but we once uh, we enter article the php and it enter you can see the first post one main thing is that we are hard coding the id here but in the coming up lecture we will generate id dynamically so for now we are just checking is it working properly now it is working properly so in the next lecture we will generate the article id dynamically so let's get next tutorial and thanks for watching this tutorial